Whatever happened to Asia Monet? We may never know, but we're gonna be telling you some reasons why she may have just found a better career after Dance Moms. Welcome back to today's video, guys. I'm JT with the Film Central. Shout out to Keely Fuller. Thank you for being our subscriber of the month. If you guys want to be shouted out in a future video, all you got to do is like the video and subscribe. That's it. And let us know that you commented down below saying you subscribed. But let's get into what happened to Asia Monet. Asia Monet is a little girl at the time and she ended up appearing on Dance Moms in one of the earlier seasons. Now when she first came on the show, she was a little bit intimidated by a lot of the other girls, but she found her place quickly among the group of girls. But what was very cool was from this episode I'm going to be showing you guys, she actually ended up having a really good first day, but her mom, Christy, the second Christy as the moms refer her to in the video, ended up not taking her very lightly, and they were giving her a hard time. Just take a look. We just came from Korea, but I had to you stop. Went to Korea? Yeah, Asia's been working in Korea. She was on a TV show. She got yeah. booked out so much that there was no way that she could compete, and um, wait, we were wait, traveling. Wait, wait, she got booked out? For jobs. Let's go. Asia is doing a solo to the music Rock That. And honey, she can rock it out. But can she straighten her legs and point her feet? We'll have to see. You are committed to this studio for a year, and if you leave, you owe her $100,000 cash. Well, thank God I have $100,000. On the first day of classes, it looked like the moms were a little bit harsh on Asia, especially with her mother, Christy. As the mom said, there's only room for enough one Christy a.k.a. Chloe Lukasiak's mother, Chrissy Lukasiak. Also, they were telling her how it's a big investment, and they're not even sure if she's on the team yet, which is kind of ironic because the show had already put her in the cast, so we kind of already knew she was in the show, but I guess the moms wanted to peer pressure Christy to leave, and I guess Christy Monet was not having any of it because she firmly told them she's here to stay and that Asia has performed in a lot of shows over in Korea and has done very, very well in a lot of the big Broadway and also Hollywood aspect shows over there. They also said it's a big investment, as one mother ended up stating that she would have had to pay Abby $100,000 if it worked out or even if it didn't, to where Christy responded saying, oh, don't worry, I have $100,000. I think to me that was a big flex, and I really give my applause out to Christy Monet. I mean, that's a very hard thing to do, especially being the new mom in a group of very sassy moms, probably the sassiest groups of mom ever on television series history. So as her dance mom's career went on, she kind of played a low-key character where she didn't really get involved with a lot of the other girls. She was occasionally interviewed and brought aside for personalized interviews for people to watch her on the show, but she wasn't really a highlighted carry like Chloe Lukasiak, Jojo Siwa, or Maddie Ziegler. Unfortunately, she ended up leaving the Dance Mom show after a couple of seasons on the show and has found a lot of success in raising herself, especially her mother raising her as well. She has appeared in a lot of videos, especially music videos, and has done a lot of covers and also has done a lot of hit songs from her hit single, Hey Girl, which can be found on her YouTube channel as well. She's done a lot of good stuff, and I'm just going to show you a little snippet of her Hey Girl music video. These troubles that are going round. We can talk the talk all day long, but it won't make a difference. We gotta walk the walk to get what we want, or it doesn't even make sense. Oh, come along, come along. Oh, come along, come along. Oh. It's a great song. I mean, it's almost at a million views. It was released one year ago, and it's one of her highlighted songs. What's crazy to me is from watching her grow up as a little girl to now where she's in her teens and almost a full grown woman, she literally looks a lot more matured, handles herself a lot better with the media, which was apparently, you know, assumed because she had to deal with that kind of stuff every single day on Dance Moms. So I really like her music. I think she can go somewhere with it. And rumor has it that Interscope Records is thinking about picking her up and putting her on the team. So where she is now is kind of just a mystery, but also a lot of people know because she's also been on a lot of TV hit series and also shows. For example, back in 2014, Raising Asia was an American TV show that appeared on Lifetime back in July 29th of 2014. This series was a spinoff of Dance Moms and it followed the daily life of Asia Monet Ray. 
the eight-year-old dancer and her family at the time. Now, it shows her singing and dancing career, and she's also appeared on a lot of other shows, a lot of other famous shows and kind of low-key shows, such as a movie called The Sister Coach, where she acted alongside her sister Amber Rose, and also Drew Sidora while she continued taking hip-hop dance classes. It was really interesting to see her act along Amber Rose and a lot of other famous celebrities, and show them what she could do and her talent level as well. Now, getting to her YouTube channel, she actually has close to 400,000 subscribers as of today. She has 395,000. She averages every single video a little over 5,000 views, so not too many. But again, she is most known for her singing ability, her songs. She does a lot of covers from famous artists such as Miley Cyrus to Billy Joel English. All these other, you know, singers that do a lot of famous songs, she's done covers for. So as you saw earlier, her Hey Girl single, her singing ability is undoubtedly very talented. And from the singing ability that she has to her vlog making ability, she's going to be a future star for many years to come. I'm excited to say that she's doing great, she's living on her own, she's about to sign with a huge label in the record music industry, and her YouTube channel is almost at 400,000 subs. I mean, what more can you want? So Asia Monet is doing just fine. Again, a lot of these girls we're going to be going over in this Dance Moms series have had their careers sparked by Dance Moms. I mean, it's kind of a guaranteed where if you're going to act on this show and also dance, you're going to have a very successful, luxurious career. So this is very inspiring to see. But if you guys like today's video, make sure to let us know in the comment section down below who we should do next. Guys, I'm signing off. And as always, see y'all later.